Mogul Motivation, empowering and inspiring entrepreneurs and dream chasers worldwide, one week at a time. Presented by True Stories Media, and I'm your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor. Contentment is one of those words that gives the it gives the vibe that you know you just have no ambition. You don't want more. You just want to be stagnant, just exist until your time expire here on earth. That's what the word contentment, that's the vibe that it gives off, right? But that's really not true because contentment is something that's necessary, right? Contentment is something that we as humans, even entrepreneurs and dream chasers, we all need to learn. We all need to learn how to be content with what we have. I talked about that a few weeks ago, half and half. You can't be halfway committed to the things that you already have. But you have to be content with what you have. Because you see, we always are going to, we're always going to want more. We're always going to desire something. Even as entrepreneurs, it's like, oh, if I just have this, then I can do this. If I just have this, I can do this. I'm a full-time professional photographer. And there's always a time where I'd be like, well, if I had this camera, I can do this. If I had this type of lens, I can get this effect. If I had this, I could do that. If I had this, I could do that. I used to talk about if I had an iMac, I can do this. I used to talk about if I had this type of lens, I could do this. Guess what? Now I have all of that. I have the new iMac. The M1 chip, the super speed, the, the the 5K screen, the retina display. I have all of that. I got five lenses that total over $10,000. I got three cameras that total over five dollars $6,000. I have everything that I said I need to level up in this photography world, right? I have all of these things. I have the audio equipment for these podcasts. I have this. I have that. Everything I prayed for, everything I wanted, everything I desired, just about... I have. But there's more things I want. There are other things I desire. There are other things that I'm telling myself, if I get this, then I can do this. If I get this, then I can do that. There's always going to be something desirable and something that we're shooting to obtain in this world, especially if you're an entrepreneur and if you're a dream chaser. It's always going to be something else. And we got to realize that it's an insult. To ourselves, it's an insult to our prayers from the past when we continue to give all of our attention to something that we fantasize about and ignore the things that we received. You see that iMac, all them lenses, all them fancy cameras, everything that I prayed for, everything that I desired for in the past, I have now. It's been brought to me. I need to be content with what I have and do what I can with what I have to get to the next level instead of fantasizing, instead of putting all of my energy to something that I don't have yet. You see, the social media world would do that to you. We give all of our attention for nothing and ignore everything that we already accomplished. It's an insult to yourself, to the, all the hard work, to all the labor, to all the prayers that you have done in the past when you constantly give all of your attention to something that doesn't even exist right now. Think about that. You've accomplished so much on your entrepreneurial journey. You accomplished so much in your life, but it's still not enough for you to be happy. It's still not enough for you to be content. It's still not enough for you to do what you got to do and execute because you still want more. You still care about something that you ain't even got yet. You still care about something that's not even real yet because you see social media. You see everything around you. You see the people around you and you think, man, they leveling up and I can't level up. Even though you have everything that you prayed for already in the past, it's an insult to yourself. It's an insult to your prayers. It's egregious when you give all of your energy for nothing. Instead of giving all of your energy to everything, to something, to the things that's tangible, to the things that's already in your possession, to the things that you already have, be content with where you at right now. How dare you fantasize about something that hasn't even come yet? How dare you fantasize about something that you haven't even accomplished yet and you're ignoring the things that you already accomplished? You're ignoring the things that you already accumulated, the things that you already acquired, the things that you already have done. Sit back, take a step back, and look at it. Look at the track record. Look at the receipts of your prayers. And it's going to shut you up, I guarantee you. You're giving all of your energy 
to nothing. All of this is for nothing. You're stressing yourself. You're giving yourself anxiety. And anxiety is a real thing. I'm never going to downplay anxiety. But understand, sometimes it's self-inflicted because you're telling yourself that if only you had this, if only you did that, if only you was in this position, then you could do X, Y, Z when you're already in that position because you prayed for this position in the past. If it wasn't for your prayers in the past, you wouldn't be in this position to pray about the next position that you want to be in now. All for nothing. So that's my message this morning, ladies and gentlemen. We got to stop giving all of our attention to nothing. We got to stop fantasizing about things that's yet to come and ignoring the things that's already come. Be content. Appreciate the level that you've made it to as an entrepreneur, as a dream chaser in this life. You ever stop and think maybe, just maybe the things that you fantasize about haven't come, not because you aren't worthy. You're certainly worthy of everything you desire. You're certainly worthy of everything that crosses your heart and your mind. But those things haven't come yet because you continue to ignore the things that you already desired in the past that, that have come. If you can't learn to be content, if you can't learn to work with what you got, if you can't learn to appreciate the things that's in your presence right now, what makes you think you're going to appreciate the things that come in your, in your presence in the future? You're not because it's always going to be something. You're going to constantly be chasing something. You're always going to be after something because if you make a million dollars, now you're going to desire $5 million. You make $5 million, now you're going to desire $10 million. You make $10 million, now you're going to desire $100 million. It's never going to be enough and that's not good. That's gluttonous. One of the seven deadly sins. That's gluttonous. Do not practice that. Learn to be content. Learn to appreciate. Learn to admire everything that's tangible and intangible that's coming to your life on this journey. And once you do that, once you genuinely appreciate the things that you got, once you genuinely appreciate the things that you've accomplished and stop disregarding them as nothing, because they are something. You've done something. You've done a lot of things in your life that's worthy to be praised and applauded for. Stop ignoring it and acting like you haven't done anything just because your passport ain't got 50,000 steps. Just because you haven't took 100 trips and 100 flights in this year. You've done something great this year. You've done something great in your life. Once you appreciate that, once you admire that, once you realize that, then maybe... All of these things you fantasize about will come because you're going to appreciate those when they come. And it's never going to be, I need more. It's going to be, I have enough. I have something. I have everything that I prayed for. Everything that I wanted. And once you get to that point, everything after that is just a bonus. It's just a bonus. When your prayers are answered and when you have the receipts of those prayers, everything is just a bonus after that. So that's my message this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality. Stop giving all of your attention and energy for nothing. Divert all of that attention, all of that energy, all of that gratitude to everything that's already in your presence. Tangible and intangible. Everything that you've accomplished. Remember, something is better than nothing. If this podcast has benefited you in any way, shape, or form, I ask for two things as always. Number one, leave a five-star review. And number two, pass it on to a friend who may benefit from it as well. Have a great day, everyone. I'll talk to you next week.